Okay, so occasionally I come across this idea that people have who are not firearm owners that a gun can just go off. And actually not just people who are not firearm owners. Sometimes you also see, like for example, when there has been a negligent discharge, somebody will just say, oh, well, you know, I was just cleaning it and suddenly it just went off. And that's not what firearms do. They just, they don't just go off. That's not how they function. And uh, I mean, it's for safety purposes. It is good to assume that they are loaded and that they could fire. But the idea behind that is you just keep aware of what you're doing with it. The most important part is you keep your finger off the trigger. As long as you keep the finger away from the trigger, it cannot go off. It just doesn't work. If it quote unquote goes off, then you're firing it, whether you want to or not. It's negligence if it does happen. So really, just to show you, well, first of all, I'm going to do a safety check, make sure that this is indeed unloaded, nothing in the magazine, and nothing in the chamber. So now I know that this is safe, and you see where my index finger is. It's out of the trigger guard. Even if there was a round in the chamber right now, it would be impossible for it to fire. I mean, it would be anyway because the bolt is locked back. But let's say now. You know, now I have to treat it as if it's loaded. Even though I just checked it, I know I just checked it. But, you know, we can get distracted. So we have to have this habit of always making sure that it cannot just quote unquote go off. Like for example, if you were talking to someone, you get distracted. As soon as you look back to this, as soon as you, you put your hand there, you have to know what the status is, if it's loaded or not. So you check. And even if there was a round in there right now, there's no way for this to fire. No way at all. So just to show you that a firearm like this does not simply go off. First of all, let's flick the safety off. And so now you could tell even without a round in there, you could tell when it would fire if it was loaded because you would hear the firing pin snapping forward. But, you know, I can do all kinds of crazy nonsense here and it's not gonna happen in fact let me try check again to make 100% sure and now I'm pointing downwards when there's really no risk whatsoever there you heard that now it would fire it can only fire if the trigger is pressed or if it somehow you know snags on something or whatever is you know pushed past a certain point something like an antique cold single action revolver could if all chambers are loaded and it falls down and, and drops with the hammer on a hard surface it could fire yes but you know most modern firearms don't really do that anymore um, they typically have internal safeties that prevent the hammer from dropping or the uh, firing pin from moving at all unless the trigger is depressed. I mean, there may still some, be some exceptions, but that's the general rule. Same here, making sure it is unloaded. And so, now, even when the hammer is cocked, normally, if, if you wanted to, to carry the rifle, you wouldn't carry it with the hammer cocked. You would drop it safely first. But, even when the hammer is cocked, I don't want to abuse this poor thing too much, but it's just a rubber mallet. But you know, even if I hammer around there, hammer the hammer, it doesn't happen. It cannot just go off. It's that's not how it works. In order for that to happen, you have to press the trigger. So if it does, quote unquote, go off or suddenly fire, well. It's the user's fault. 
So, well, you fucked up. <laughs> That's the simple truth. So keep your wits about you, be safe. If you don't know how to handle them safely, ask someone else, get training or just leave them alone. All right, so thanks for watching.